Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the different types of the strength. So in today's lecture, we are going to discuss the types of strength. In our last lecture, we discussed the stress, strains, and also the types of stresses. In today's lecture, we are mainly focused on the types of the strains. So there are basically four types of the strain and I will explain one by one with the help of an example in figures so it will be easy to follow and easy to understand. So starting with the first type of the strain, the first type of the strain is the tensile strain. The second strain is the compressive strain which is due to the of course due to the compressive stresses. And also we have the third number of strain is the lateral strain and the fourth one is the volumetric strain volumetric strain so I will explain one by one in detail now so starting with the starting with the first one which is the tensile strain so the tensile strain is due to the increase in length of an object so if I, for example, if I consider this object and if I apply the load here, if I consider here the load P is acting on this object here in this direction. So what happened because of this load, there will be increase in the length of the object. So the change in length due to the increase will be known as the tensile strain. For example, if I consider this object so it, because of this load, it will show some increase in this direction. So now because of this increase in the dimension if I do it like this here so there is increase here in this direction now if I call it delta L the increase are the change in length and this is the original length L so tensile strength can be defined as E will be equal to the change in length divided by the original length and this change in length will be always the in change in increase change in increase in length so then we will call it is a tensile strain because there is always an increase in the length of an object so what will be the compressive strain if i define the compressive strain so it will be opposite to that of the tensile strain because in this case if i applied the load for example if I applied the load here but this will be here compressive strain so the load will also be compression P and it compresses the object so now the body will look like this because if the applied load it will decrease in length and expand in the literal direction so we have here so what we have here we have decrease in length if I delta L is now decrease in length because of the compressive load so in this case the compressive strain can be defined as that it is also the change in length divided by the original length but here in this case this change in length delta L will be equal to the change in decrease in length because of the load application in load direction it will try to compress this object so it will be compressed and we will have some decrease in the length and now the strain created inside this object will be known as the compressive strain because they are due to the compressive load the third one is the lateral strain now by its word we see we see it here lateral it means that the change in the lateral dimension of the object is known as the lateral strain so i can write it here e used for the strain and it will be delta d divided by d now this delta d is known as the change in lateral dimension when its lateral dimension are changing then we call it lateral strain so the strain will be known as the lateral strain for example if i consider this object again here and we applied the load we applied the compressive load and it's it looks like this because of the compressive load view here because of the compressive load p what happens to this object the body compresses and view here decrease also in the little direction 
because the little direction now here you see here the little direction changes in its dimension and also this side is also being expanded so we have here delta d similarly on the other side we will also have some expansion in the little direction so now this change in the little dimension divided by the original lateral dimension this d is the original dimension original lateral length and this is the change in lateral length so the ratio of these two will be known as the lateral strain and you can find this by knowing the change in lateral length and dividing by the original lateral length so we will find out the lateral strain in an object now the fourth one is the volumetric strain so how we can define the volumetric strain it is equal to the volumetric change in length change in volume divided by the original volume now delta v delta v here if i define is delta v will be equal to the change in volume so in this case if i consider the same object for example if i consider this object and i applied the load for example a tensile load i applied the tensile load on this object this is a p load and the body expanded in its dimension so what happened we see that there is a change in length here delta l there is a decrease in its uh, depth delta d for example and there is also de maybe decrease in its width delta b so we have change in length we have change in width and we also have change in depth so these all changes in the volume will be referred to as the volumetric strain so delta v is the change in volume of an object dividing it by the original volume v is the original volume of the object so this strain will be known as the volumetric strain in this case so these are four different types of the strain and keep in mind that strain has no unit because it is the dimension of the two similar units it is always for example change in length or change in any quantity divided by its original length so the change in length unit is meter for example or centimeter for example or millimeter the length unit is also in milli in meter centimeter in millimeter so they cancel out each other so that's why strain is unitless the strain has no unit so it will be always is a unitless quantity and they are the strains are mostly related to the application of load for example if you applied the tensile load on an object you will have a tensile strain if you applied a compressive load so you will have a compressive strain if you applied the lateral load a load for example it might be compressive or tension then the change in the lateral dimension is known as the lateral strain similarly volumetric depends on the load application it can be either compressive or tension but you will always have change in volume and this will be referred to as the volumetric strain Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe for our daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.